Welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod. Last episode, we pulled our eye out and also, well, more importantly, conquered most of the Westerlands there. Um, this character is a little bit of a tyrant these days, eh? He's, he's, t he's uh, ruthless and cruel, obviously, from where he had his grandchildren assassinated. And right now, we're looking to, you know, make the transition into Prince Harren III a lot easier. So this kid's already really, really good. Erudite, just, gregarious. He's conscientious and brooding as well. Proud. And of course, brooding can turn into uh, just or wrath or selfish, or envious out of those. What would we really want out of that? Let me think about this. Um, probably Wrath, I guess, to counter out the Gilded Reaver, giving us a minus four to our Marshal, so that would help bring him up to a bit more of a sort of Marshal all-round stat. Conscientious can obviously become any good trait. Honorable would be incredible. Honorable is a plus... It used to be. Anyway, I might be wrong. But it used to be a plus 25 general opinion. If that's still the case, why don't we take a look? If that's still the case, that would be incredible to pick that up. Now, I assume it's influenced by your Guardian having Honourable. We are definitely not Honourable. There's nothing Honourable about our character at all. Um, okay, it's now a plus 10. They've balanced it a lot. It's now a plus 10, but it's a plus 15 to your Liege opinion as well. So, interesting way of balancing that. Uh, fear minus 20. Now, obviously, Fear is the sort of background counter for how much your vassals are less likely to revolt and join factions. Things like that. Now, one thing I've never really thought about before is the higher amount of fear we can get, the less likely our vassals are to obviously join factions against us, the more likely they are to join the faction backing us, the Crown Loyalist faction. If we can do that, that might actually allow us to launch those invasions against, you know, whole duchies that we've wanted to do for quite a long time now. Not a big deal. What we've got to focus on now is getting, obviously, our son up to 16 before we die, so we've got to wait three more years. Focus on getting rid of Dishonorable. Focus on being just a good character to make the transition into Harren III a lot easier. We're going to flip over to Rulership. We're going to have to start bribing our vassals a bit more diligently. Whenever we can, we need to be absolutely loading them up with gold so they love us a bit more. So that when we're ready to die, or when we die, hopefully they're going to be uh, more or less in favor of us. Your grandson, Prince Dennis? Who is this guy? Oh, right, he's a grandson of our daughter. Well, I was going to say, if we have a grandson, he should be higher in line to the throne, but it's actually from one of our, our eldest daughter there. Okay, sure, whatever. Now, do we have the Marshal Training Troops? Let's have you training children instead. And let's also see when we can force him to train. So when is that? Uh, force train expires. 85, 52, 14th of the 1st. His dates being backwards is blowing my mind more than I thought. Okay, so we've just trained him then. We've got to wait another year then. That's fine. Not much to worry about immediately. What if you said, can we get rid of Homely? I'm honestly not sure, because without there being magic in the world yet, we're sort of limited in what we can do in terms of, uh... Do I want to join the Cult Star Wisdom? Yeah, I want to see what they do, so we'll, we'll stick with that one. Um, without there being magic in the world yet, I, we're sort of limited for what the, uh... What the higher levels of the Alchemist Guild can do for us. So we'll stick with Cult Star Wisdom for us, see what they can do, but, but essentially we've just got to try and hatch a dragon. That's our main goal. Hatch a dragon uh, is going to be our constant ongoing goal right now. And obviously have a good air setup always. Do you want this guy, Boulder, to join our court? He's really, really good. Absolutely. Welcome to court, Boulder. You are much better person than the guy we have already. Let's have him perform charity. Again, we need to get people on our side. So this would be awesome. Vassal's impressed. 13% chance yearly. Very, very useful. Now, we wanted this guy to pacify a province instead for whatever reason. I can't remember why we were doing that now. Um, maybe a reinforcement rate? I honestly don't remember, to be honest with you. Oh, well. Uh, we'll have him... We'll have him oversee the realm because there's a chance of improving relations with that. And again, getting our vassals on side as soon as possible will be great. Now, the rulership focus should hopefully get rid of maybe Cruel, maybe get rid of Ruthless. Improve vassal relations where we can. That's that's my MO right now. Dennis shall make a fine warrior. Good work, Dennis. You, you trained the wrong child. I was kind of hoping for my son, but that's okay. The guards drag Theobald lonely up from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice. I demand a trial by combat. I will handle this myself. Yeah, I will. 130... Versus this guy's 80? Absolutely. The Drowned God will guide me. I quickly avoided its forceful attacks. And he's dead. Follow Morgulus. Victor is mine. Well, I guess that's the end of that prisoner. I honestly didn't even know who that guy was, so uh, who knows. We're, never, we're not supposed to have text, so I'm just putting those points into anything. I, I'm still automatically going for what I consider the best ones, though. Alright, let's give away some land. Seeing as that's going to cause some, uh, some more vassal-related issues if we hold all of this. So, uh... What do we want then? So the, the Duchy of Case, I assume, is, yeah, still under the Westlands. That's a real shame. We'll give these both to a, a loyal retainer. Let's uh, load filters. There we go. Sort by stewardship and just see who we've got here. So you may have Case. And we'll give the same guy... No, actually, that's not. Let's give it to somebody different. Let's give this uh, Feast Fires. Yeah, that's it. 
All right. Um, actually, we can afford to keep Castle Rock for the time being. I assume we'll get good taxes from Castle Rock, if nothing else. Yeah, look at that. Huge Westerlander Fortress. So when these modifiers go away, we'll get a whole bunch of troops and a whole bunch of taxes from that. That's what remains of our retinue, eh, after the war. All right. Well, let's build up some more retinues here. Go ahead and combine those. Now, all of our retinues are coming from trade posts. Do we pick up any more, or have we lost anything or gained anything? More importantly, there we go. Recruitment officers. Definitely worth building while we've got this huge amount of cash kicking around. All right. They're fully upgraded. River Run. Um... Do we really want to build anything here in Riverrun? We're, we're probably not going to hold Riverrun, I'll be honest with you. So let's not worry about that. We can upgrade Harren Hall proper, just not the towers. Uh, let's go for... We do want to start working on the castle town. Am I going crazy? Have we not started... Oh, we have. Right, right, right. Yeah, there we go. What do we need for that? Modest Estates 3, which is an upgrade from guard stations, I think. Oh, no, it must be small estates then. Yeah, I remember. So small estates need guard stations and then... Yeah, yeah, Okay. Awesome. Good. Do we want to upgrade Pike anymore? It's already a bit ridiculous. Like, it's actually sort of getting to the stage now where we've, we've got too many men coming from Pike and can't can't ferry them all around. I do need to build, um... I need to build ships. That's what we need. That's something I really should have focused on. All right, have you got any sort of, uh... Professional docks? Anything that gives us boats here? No, not at all. All right, we won't worry about Castle Rocks. I'm going to give that away anyway once we can actually get the duchy, but that's quite a large duchy, isn't it? Oh, it just looks large, I guess. It's got Lannisport and Castle Rock, though, so... All right. Good. Now that the round's sorted, now that we're in the process of becoming, you know, nicer with our vassals, more friendly with our vassals, um, we're discouraging people from joining factions. My courtier wrecks of the Tower of Dread. No, no, you, you get the very basic, my friend. I'm hoping our counselors as well can help sort things out, and let's hope for some rulership pings every now and again. I became very good friends with our son, Prince Harren. That's kind of nice. Um... Almost ready to train him again. I'm keeping a very close eye on that because we really need to stay on top of that. My friend Enro died. And our son can marry his betrothed. Yeah, strong, lost, ooh, lustful, gregarious. Look at her stats. Okay, we've done a really good job with that one. Awesome. Uh, Joanna Lannister wants some... Was this not our ex-concubine? Must be someone different. Um, I'm not acting against anyone. I'm not giving anyone gold. I saw a vassal with a stunning young wife by her side at the feast. I decided to make a toast to the lovely couple. I hope you live long and happy wives together. Could have sworn the groom would drop down dead when you consummated the marriage. Your wedding was nice, but I dare say this feast is better. Do you want gluttonous? No, definitely not. If we take that one, it's health minus one, so I'm just going to have to upset Master Hilmar, unfortunately. I don't know why that would be health minus one. Seems a bit weird. All right. Prince Harris, our grandson. Right. Let's go for thrift as per usual. Putting all my eggs in this one kid's basket here. How old is he? 14, right. Back to training for you. Forced to train. Training's paying off. Right. That is actually the last time we can force him to train now. Now, the ultimate scenario would be living till he's 18, proposing a foreign tour, him going off on his foreign tour, coming back with, you know, some diplomacy or whatever, and us still being alive for that. But we don't want to live so long that we're not going to be able to control this guy from the time he's ready. You know, I, I want to drop down dead just about as, as he's about to take the throne and finish his education. So that would be awesome. My prisoner, Sathena Lannister, is complaining about a dark cell in the dungeon. Um, Who are you? You're just a random... Well, I'm going to enslave her. And then I'm going to list her as not for sale. And I'm going to take her as a concubine. I'm going to be merciful so she gains a bit more... A bit more opinion of us. I'm going to send her some gold. Oh, she just hates us no matter what. Um, shit. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's not worry about it. If we were to drop down dead now, I don't think I'd mind a huge amount. You know, if she kills us in our sleep, whatever. 19 learning. Holy shit, good work. And improving vassal relations is always awesome. I assume uh, increased counts power, guys. I've fully bribed. No, I haven't. All right, let's just keep on top of this. This is this is the most important thing I could do right now. It's a shame we're not still part of the other society where I can keep, you know, fabricating goods to grant these guys, you know, making gemstones and stuff with the Alchemist Guild. But uh, I really want to see what the cult of the Star of Wisdom do because I've never joined it before, like I've said. No, not Lord Reaver. Drennan of the Crag. Who was that? Drennan Smith? No one important then. Um, where's the Crag? When did we pick that up? Oh, right, that was last episode, wasn't it? Sure. Um, here you go, the Bane Fort. You may be... The new High Lord of the Crag. And sure, well, we've, we've got the gold, I think, to uh, help build up some prosperity. Why not? Been at peace too long. Oh, shit, okay. Right, we need to sort that out almost immediately. Uh, you are going to oversee Ram and improve relations, preferably. 
Now, what we could always do is, if we wanted to improve relations with the vassals, obviously sack some of our commanders in replacement of, uh, and replace them with, I should say, Duke level titles, Count level titles, that type of thing. This guy's got 10 marshals, so unfortunately, that is really the best thing we could do with him. Wow, that's a bit of a shame. 16 intrigue. Let's sort by rank, see who, if any of our vassals have any intrigue whatsoever. Balder, you'll do. It's a real shame that I'm having to do this, but again, it's the best way at the end of our lives here just to ensure that all the vassals like us. Um, sure, so Anna, my concubine, would like some more funds. Absolutely. I think she's doing a good job. Let's just check our promises here. Lumber shipment, awesome. Lumber shipment is really, really good. I, I would like that in Harren Hall, actually. And as our next character, we'll take over all of the trade guild stuff again, just so we can manually sort of, uh, you know, ensure that the round's doing as well as it can be. I, d I wonder how well the AI actually manages the ram. I'd like to take a look through the, uh... Oh, Jesus. I knew this was going to happen. Cynthia, my salt wife, was abed with me when she suddenly set upon me with a knife in hand. Treacherous wench. We could die here. Um... 50% chance she survives unscathed. 30% chance she gains wounded. 20% chance she dies. And then one of four options will happen to us. 75% chance we survive unscathed. 10% chance we get wounded or eunuch. 5% chance we die. We good? And she's imprisoned. Let's go ahead and, uh... I'm sorry. Personally strangle her to death. And that's what you get for trying to uh, castrate me, I guess. Squeeze the life from her. That seems a bit crazy in hindsight. Well, that'll make our vassals like us, I'm sure. Now, we're in a blood feud with House Tully, aren't we? I think we're actually in a blood feud with someone else as well. Let's just go ahead and take a look at that. Just House Tully. Now, I did say I was going to salt the earth with them, and there is one left. So, you know what? Let's do it. House Tully, it's time for you to die. Now, why don't we raise a raiding party and actually go and manually take them out? Oh, I'm not reinforcing the retinues, am I? Because I was saving up for gold. Why are we saving up for gold? Do we have a loan or something? Um, hold a feast. That'll make our vassals like us. Absolutely, let's do that. No, we can still ask the Iron Bank for a loan. Why was I... I'm trying to think why I was doing that. Maybe we were at war and I was losing a lot of gold or something along those lines. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to move those over so that when I raise these troops for raiding, we don't accidentally put them on the boats along with everyone else. Right, okay, here we go. Um, do you guys want to go... I keep them in Volmar because there are no boats in Volmar. It just makes this whole thing a lot easier. Let's embark who we can. Get the rest over to Pike. Your master of coin, Lord Dagon, has grave news. Part of the castle where the guests would be staying seems needs to be repaired. Otherwise, you couldn't guarantee their safety. Sure. 150 coin already on the feast. Plus another 209 coin on the feast. We need people like you. And we'll send out the invites. Okay, he said no. Fuck you. He said no. Fuck you. Doesn't matter. They're only, they're only counts. We don't... Well, they're, they're not even counts, are they? They're, um... Well, no, they are. They are counts. But they're, they're city counts, essentially. Mayors? Mayors is the right word. Masters, even. Oh, God. This guy didn't want to at all. Why not? That's some gold. Uh, you didn't want to either. This is basically telling us which vassals we really need to focus on improving relations with. You Cape Kraken? You should be under another one, shouldn't you? Well, that'll solve that problem, I suppose. Go ahead and transfer vassalage of Cape Kraken to Flintcliffs. That's going to make him like us a bit more. Deal with the other vassal not liking us. You know what? That's a lot of vassals we got then in this feast. Awesome. Typical that we're not going to be able to get all of our men onto boats. Just about managed it. I see my levies haven't reinforced from the last war, then that's fine. Alright, and we'll move those out into the sea, and then everybody else, whoever can fit on there besides the right news, go away. Everybody else, feel free to get on the boats, if you can. No, we probably want to leave troops behind, don't we? Oh, I disbanded them. There needs to be a mod. Never disband right news. You know what there probably is? I should probably check the workshop without the amount of times I do it by accident. Right, you know what? That's fine. Let's go ahead and dot these guys so we can turn them into raiders. Ignore everything I've done so far. Should you tell me how glad my invitation made is to feast? Oh, that's pretty nice. Right, let's get all you guys leading the troops. And again, we're going after House Tully. This is the episode where they go extinct. Now, I forget what they actually did to us. Were we at war and they executed one of my family members or something like that? Awesome. A large number of the people from a religious minority has petitioned for your permission to settle in Pike. This would likely lead to increased tax revenue, but the local religious authorities would disapprove. Who cares? Losing 200 piety, losing 200 gold, but instead we're getting plus 12.5% city tax. That's a huge amount. That will pay for itself in absolutely no time at all. Um, Munda must be arrested and made to pay answer for this. There's a chance of us getting just from that. We didn't, but that's fine. Uh, you can have 316 gold as reward. Holy shit. Bestow a noble title on him. Yeah. 
158 gold, and he gets 40 prestige instead. That's much better. All right, so where are the Tully's Castle, then? Here. Here they are. Oh, they're already under siege. Oh, no. I think someone else is going to get to them before we can. That would be a shame. Um, apparently, I sent them some gemstones at some stage. Weird. Well, let's see if we can stop this and drag them out of hiding before everyone else manages to. Winter fever is broken out in Castle Rock. That's not a problem. We're fine. All right. Ooh, risky, but we need to do it so we can get to... Oh, shit, Grey Witch already siege, so we actually can't do it. My mistake. Damn. The Tullys are going to be completely unlanded if we're not careful. And now we have Queen Tharby the Holy. Beyond the Wall, Old Gods. Ice Riverman, 56 years old. Now, I should have mentioned the ultimate goal for this campaign now, and some of you commented on last episode, is to fix the borders. We're going to make our own Iron Throne. With blackjack and hookers, but more importantly, nice looking borders that aren't a complete state. Because this is absolutely awful to look at. Go ahead and get that fixed. Well, there goes my dream of wiping out House Tully. Not quite. We can still have them assassinated or whatever. Um, where are you, House Tully? Oh, are, they, are they gone? Did that genuinely just end like that? Okay, there they are. They're completely unlanded now. House of Greywatch? No, they still have it. Oh, I was looking at the wrong province. My mistake. Oh, great. So the war ends just as I leave. Well, more importantly, it's marked them special interest. Let's also try and have them assassinated. Seems a little bit cheap, but, uh, you know, it'll be the end of the blood feud. We're wiping out one of the great houses of Westeros as well, so that's got some prestige behind it. God damn it, just I put all my troops down as well. Oh, well, that's fine. You know what? We've got another raid. Why not? Take the retinue, I don't care. We can always hire a new one. <laughs> uh, let's get all those guys to pike. My son came out Midas touched. Awesome. Brilliant steward. Tax modifier plus 10%. Oh, wait. Were you Midas Touch? No, we were Grey Eminence. He just got very lucky. Wow, sweet. He came out a, a really good character then. He's got Kakao's Folly equipped. I think got the Breastplate Structure equipped, but that's fine. Um, do you want to give him anything else? Maybe some books that we're not using? That probably couldn't hurt, eh? Let's go. Let's, I'll shift over some books to him. In the meantime. Oh, shit. I don't want this in Pike because I... Well, I suppose I was going to keep Pike permanently. Okay, that's fine. I prefer it in Harren Hall because that's going to be our main sort of... Probably the, the actual Iron Thrones capital when we get to that stage. But uh, sure, we'll take the tech plus 12.5% again. What a gracious gift. You're welcome. Uh, 370 gold to Balder. No, I have Balder nothing. Alright. Let's take our boats then. Again, move them to the capital. Let's see what we can do here. My brother-in-law died. Oh, he was one of my good commanders as well. So that's a bit of a... That's, that's actually a significant loss. Right, let's get you guys raiders, merge them. Let's actually move them off the boats as well. Just temporarily. This is all I can really take. Okay. Um, I'm going to do what I wanted to do before. Move them back to the sea. Get all of you boys on the boats. Let's just see how many men we can actually get onto here. That's actually the best place for them, because the ones closer can actually walk around through at the Cape of Eagles there. You've met, met with Septum Oren, a wealthy man from Goldtown. Um, excuse me? You realize, is slavery not illegal in Westeros anymore? That would be very interesting if they actually legalized slavery in the Iron Throne. Make it easier for me in the future. Um, let's get in charitable. Sure, why not? Make our vassals like us a bit more again. So our council here. Uh, we can put you, you're a vassal. Sure, that'll do. Probably enough men by now, eh? That's pretty much everyone. Okay, this could be dangerous, because if we're attacked now, we, we are going to be in trouble. But that's fine. Uh, it's probably easy to do this the other way around in hindsight. There we go. Are these our best commanders? We've got Baylor, Gisela, and Hagon. Right. Back after House Tully, then. Who have we got, got to educate now? Another grandson or something? Yeah, whatever. Uh, there you go. Intrigue. Good luck. Call a great council. Send for faces, man. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're on our way now to take it ourselves. Brilliant. We also got a Scholars Foundation. We're getting a lot of those events. Wow. Guess our prosperity is that good, eh? Right, we're not here for you. Don't care about you, Westerlands. Siege that down. We've done it. My king, I am pleased to report I've captured some high-value prisoners after our siege of Greywatch. Clamper and irons. We've actually got a prisoner. Right, now we can leave. Holy shit. I cannot believe it was that easy. And some prestige as well, uh, of course. This is it. This is the end of it. 
We've done it. Execute imprisoned. How do we want to kill her? Those are options. Beheaded, hanged, hung, drawn, and quartered. The classic. Goodbye. House Tully is now officially extinct. Now who owns the trident then? Greywatch? Reachman? Beyond the Wall? Old Gods? Best case scenario for us. That's very good for us. Because that means all of his vassals are going to repel and the trident is pretty much going to split apart at this stage. I wouldn't be surprised if that falls apart pretty much instantly. Although they're already in a bit big civil war. So we'll wait and see after that ends. Okay, you know what? I don't want to disable this because it disables it across, you know, the entire game. So all the other mods as well. But uh, I'll just keep investing where I can. Sweet. Well, we've already achieved more than I expected us to, but uh, we're not quite done there. We still have to pave the way for Prince Harren III. What can we do? Can we do anything else that will uh, that will set him up? Cupbearer? There you go. Sure, why not? Give him a bit more prestige just for having that. Let's give him some more artifacts as well. There you go. Engines of War. Feel free to use that. Triumphs and Defeats. That will come in handy. You enjoy that one as well, my friend. Uh, generally, what are we not using at this stage? The Edge of the World. Now, he's already got way more books than he can use. And the AI won't know which ones are best to equip, essentially. So, you know, that'll probably do, to be honest with you. Anything we're not using, he can have, as far as I'm concerned. Now, we could... If we want to work ahead of ourselves here, we could always make him our Trade Master. That seems like a good idea to me. Now, I assume our old Trade Master will at least give us any stuff back that she had. Was it Sayana? Who was that? One of our daughters? Maybe our sibling? I um, actually have no idea who that was in hindsight. You know, we could probably find it if I go back to here. Oh no, because we just sacked it. Oh, it's our salt wife. Right, right, right. Um, do you have any goods left? Can I have those back? Could I, could I possibly have those back? There we go. It appears that my services are no longer required. My liege, I shall hereby give you the trade goods I have in my possession. Yeah, I, I thought she would do that. And she sent us to gold as well. To what I was saying earlier, but never actually finished the thought, was I'd like to take a look just in the trade guild stuff and just uh, sort of see what determines, you know, how well the AI functions, you know, what investments they'll make, things like that. I'd like to see whether or not they are super efficient at, you know, making these, these awesome decisions for you. Because if that's the case, it would always be good just to have the AI do it while I focus on other things as well, just to cover the most ground. Um, i still like to join this cult, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen, eh? Just private funeral for you. You know what? I think we're in a good place here. Oh, you don't like me. Why not? Devious plotter, zealous, cynical. Okay, right. I see what's going to happen here. Let's get rid of her. Incited to revolt. Let's beat her in a war and put her to death, I guess. There we go. No, wait. This is the rock. This is even better. Slave raid? No, we can't do that. That's pointless. What else we got? What happened then? Oh, it fell to a five-year-old girl, I see. Classic. We can't do an invasion or anything. We could claim some some things for our vassals here. Sarsfeld? How many men she got? 12,000. Probably not worth it for a single province, I'll be honest with you. It's over. King Harren II has taken his last breath at the age of 69. He died a natural death. A brilliant man. He ruled the Iron Isles ably in every way possible. He will be missed now that he is with the Drown God. King Harren III... Having mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. Long live King Harren the Third. So be it. What? Why do we not have the Driftwood Crown equipped? Do, do we not actually get the Driftwood Crown back? Did I still not get it? That was silly. Okay, sure. Yeah, he deserves to be honoured with a funeral. I think. I agree. And uh, let's invite the whole of the Hall family. Let's leave it there. That was a good episode. We, we laid the foundations for our our successor and our son here. He's only 17, but he's an incredible character. Brilliant, tall, prolific, great skill set all around. Focus on the business focus, get some gold going. We're going to send him on a foreign tour. Hopefully, this will be the character that we get that dragon egg with. See you next time.